What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Pig Nation and today we're gonna do a little quick reviewy on the latest Pokemon trailer that just dropped today. What is today? Today is uh, August 7th, 2019. All right, so let's go check this trailer out. No, Slowpoke! Ah! Okay, I got the latest trailer up right now. It's called A New Team and New Rivals of Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is actually on the official Pokemon YouTube channel page. So let's hit it. Okay, got some dope shit. Intro to the previous. Ooh, Galarian forms. What we got? Hey, no way. Yo, yo, Weezing looks sick. Poison Fairy and Levitate. That's still good. I wonder what the other ability is. Yo, Zigzagoon. See, I saw. I said I saw that in the trailer. Dark Normal, Pick Up, and Gluttony. Ah, eh, those abilities are alright. Gluttony's okay, I guess. Pick Up's kind of okay, I guess. Not really. I look at it from a competitive standpoint. Galarian, Linoon. No fucking way! Oh! Yo, he looks badass! Reckless and Guts? Obstagoon? Obstagoon? Is that how you say it? Yo, he looks like a hyena. My dog looked badass. A form training Pokemon discovered. Is that Pikachu? It looks like Pikachu. More Pekio. Full belly mode. Dark and electric, wow. Oh, he's like the he's like the he's like the whatchamacallit, the regional uh, Pikachu. Aurora wheel from electric to dark type. Oh, so he can change his type completely? I'm not really understanding that. Compete with new rivals. Hey, old lady, let's go. Oh, that's not Duosian. That's Solus, right? Solus is I can't I can't remember that one's name. But if it that means Duosia might have something in this game, that'd be pretty cool. Team Yell. Ooh, that was confirmed in the leak. In the uh in the 4chan leak. So that's pretty cool. But none of these forms have been. I like how I like how they're doing the whole UK like hardcore punk scene. And using that to like implement designs in their Pokemon. Yo, that was sick, dude! Lion Hoon Evolution, I'm down. Dark and normal. Dark and normal is actually not too too bad. I mean it's two times a week to fighting, which is that sucks, but um, like a lot of normal type Pokemon typically have quite <clears throat> quite a bit of access to um, dark time moves. I heard there was another trailer. I'm actually gonna go try to find that. Um, yeah, but dude, but the freaking Linoon, the evolution Linoon, that shit looks badass. I cannot wait. Uh oh, hold on. Gotta zoom out from this. I'm really excited for this game. Yo, Weezing. I wonder if if Weezing's a thing. If they are gonna have a um, a what you call it, a uh, a coughing form. That'd be pretty sick. Uh oh, we got the pups going off in the background. Hold on, I saw. I knew it was called. Um, it had something to do with jobs. So I'm just gonna type in Pokemon jobs. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Anyways, there was another trailer. There was another trailer that had to do with something, and I can't find it. Official. <laughs> Ah, short and sealed Pokey Jobs trailer. Let's go, Pokey. Pokey Jobs trailer. Thank you, Game Explain, for helping me find it. It only leads up to their video. More new Pokemon Show and Shield jobs. Where are they finding this? Oh, you know what? Let's go to Cerebi. Let's go to Cerebi, and we'll try to find it on there. Right, isn't that how it is, Cerebi? Cerebi is an official Pokemon site, so if most of you guys don't know this already by now, because Cerebi's been around for a very long time, um, you can actually find uh, some pretty cool shenanigans. No, it only has like the current trailer up. It doesn't have that Pokejobs trailer. And I don't want to click on that. So I guess, all right, so there is another trailer about the Pokejobs thing. I'm not going to go into it. I really wanted to get more into this, uh, this trailer right now, like the bigger one. Um, so we have Zigzagoon, Gluttony, or Zigzagoon, uh, Linoon, and Ogorazoon. I don't know how to say that. Let me see if they actually have uh, Gen 6. They usually have it like posted right here for the different gens that are coming out. Sword and Shield, boom. I'll click it right here. Because they'll have like the variants posted right away. Valerable. 
Boom! There we go. All right, so let's go into depth in depth with some more of these Pokemon. So the Weezing is Poison and Fairy. Uh, it's still the Poison Gas Pokemon. It has a different height, different weight, and Levitate. And with, with other ability, I'm not really sure. Levitate will be pretty good because um, it will have will be able to deal with the ground type still. So I don't see the people switching up from Levitate too much. Depending on what the other ability is, if the other ability is pretty broken or like really good, then you might see like some um, both forms. But um, typically, Weezing is normally like a defensive wall. Uh, he just literally eats up <clears throat> everything. So maybe this might be a special defensive wall. We'll see. Um, but Weezing is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm actually really glad that he got something new. I like the whole top, ta top hat formation with the green mustache. It's actually pretty funny. And the beard. That's just pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. Um, Galarian Weezing consumes polluted air and poisonous gases for substance. Um, the air and gases gases absorbed will have toxins removed before being spewed out again from the tops of Weezing's heads. Apparently, the air produced through the purification process is very clean. The toxins accumulated within Weezing's body form into a concentrated poison gas cloud that leak out and drift around. The, the gas is potent and even impotent that even a whip is enough to stun and, and immobilize an opponent if Weezing's best weapon during battles. Oh, cool. So this is like a stronger gas, I guess, I would assume. And then we're getting into Zigzagoon. He looks so cute. Yo, it reminds me of, like, Kiss, to be honest. It reminds me, it reminds me a lot of, like, Kiss. Um, so the Kiss the Rock Band. Um, he's dark and normal type. He's the tiny raccoon Pokemon. He knows the, abil the ability Pick Up and Gluttony. Um, the details. Galarian form Zigzagoon was revealed. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, that was talking about it was revealed today zigzagoon of the glarium region move about however they like to never settle down they're always known for known to inhabit all areas of the region including fields forests and even towns there is some speculation that zigzagoon movements of zigzagoon in other regions stem from the re the restless nature of glaring zigzagoon which is considered to be the oldest branch of species wow so this is the original zigzagoon is that that's what they're trying to say huh that's cool i like the lore behind some of this stuff it's really cool like if you go back and you look at the alolan uh, Rattata, and you look at that like with the lore behind that that was really cool uh galarian zigzagoon enjoys battles and charges it will charge at people and other pokemon if an attempt to provoke a fight this behavior usually succeeds in starting a battle with other pokemon but humans tend to think galarian zigzagoon is playing or showing affection uh, it seems to cause Galarian Zigzagoon some fr frustration when people don't anger, don't get angry, and though it's trying to provoke them. Huh, so we think he's too cute, and other Pokemon understand that he's kind of being an asshole. <laughs> That's basically what I got from that. Then we got the Galarian Linoon. Uh, Galarian Linoon looks sick. He looks badass. Like, it looks scary. Something in the dreams. He also has Pickup and Gluttony. Galarian form Linoon was revealed. Okay, sorry. Uh, keep reading that. Galarian Linoon can reach speeds of over 60 miles per hour. You got damn, boy. He fast. And can deliver devastating tackles and headbutts. These attacks have enough destructive force to even knock a car away, but they can also throw Linoon off balance if they miss. Galarian Linoon, uh, and Galarian Linoon are rash and fearless, and they will recklessly pick fights even with opponents stronger than themselves. Wow. Um, they're fearless as well as their tendency to attack opponents head on make Galarian Linoon very popular among this the disaffected disaffected youths of Galar of Galar region who have some who have nowhere to direct their frustration and anger. So he's basically like the angsty emo teen Pokemon. That's why he's got the uh, the team yell with like the whole rock band punk people. Uh, thing so that's pretty cool. I know that's like kind of that's probably why they designed them that way to like very to very much fit like that aspect like those those that character design which is pretty cool. I still really like the design of this. Um, I don't like it's it was hard it's hard to like make a uh, make a rodent Pokemon like super dope. I actually like most of the rodent Pokemon whether they're trash or not. I really do like most of the rodent Pokemon like at their base forms. But I, I'm glad that they've been they've been. Um, chalking up and showing us some, some new things and uh, it's crazy but Galarian form uh, Linoon can actually evolve which is nuts so now now that we're learning that Galarian forms are very are very much a thing 
and there's going to be different regional evolutions uh, in the future, I'm assuming, because there can this, this is a continuation of a lowland form, which I think is a very smart idea to re-innovate a Pokemon and bring it back into the limelight um, and get people excited for it. Um, I think the regional variant thing is very smart and really cool. Um, so we, we just learned that regional forms can actually evolve now and might be able to branch off into other evolutions later down the line, which is badass. So uh, I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy that Pokemon took that direction and they're uh, they're not just sticking to like, oh, this is um, Zigzagoon and this is Lion. No, you can actually evolve it into a completely different brand new Pokemon uh, from the from the from the same branch as uh, Lion. So that's pretty dope. Um, this one is called Obstagoon. Obstagoon. So I'm I'm assuming it's mixed with Obstacle and Goon. So Obstagoon. Or abstain? I don't know. Obstagoon, dark and normal type. Uh, classification? Yeah, it's the blocking Pokemon, so obstacle. Yep, that makes sense. Reckless and guts. Uh, known moves? Obstruct. I don't even know what obstruct does. Obstagoon was revealed in Pokemon Sword and Shield. A new news info released. Oh god, I keep reading it! They keep sniping my ass. The Linoon of the Galarian region live in a harsh conditions compared to those found in other regions with fierce comp uh, competition against others of their species. Um, their survival instincts have been hon honed as a result, leading to their evolution of Obstagoon. Uh, through Obstagoon is an extremely combative. Uh, though Obstagoon is extremely combative, it seems that it doesn't often launch the first attack. It will taunt an opponent. Um, goading? Uh, is that how you say that word? Goading it into attacking. When it does, Obstagoon will cross its arms and meet the oncoming attack with its obstruct move. So, is obstruct a different? Is it a different type of block? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna go look that up actually. So we got the. Um, we actually got the new Pokemon. So let me go. Let me go. Let me go over the, some of the new Pokemon first, real quick. Um, you guys have seen most of these. You know, you got you got Grookey, you got Scorbunny, you got Sobble, Wooloo. Um, this one is uh, Gossifleur. Um, you have Eldegoss. Dreadnought, ooh, and Gigamax Dreadnought. Dreadnought's cool. I hope he, it doesn't seem like he's gonna evolve. It seems like he's a singular Pokemon, which is fine, but I think I might have a Dreadnought on my team. Um, Corviknight, do the edgy bird. And then you got Yamper, we got Impidim, we have Alucrine, uh, Roly Coley. That was such a dumb name. I'm not gonna lie, Roly Coley's weak, but we'll see. He might turn into something badass. I'm thinking he might turn into a train, like a steel and rock type train. That's what I think he might turn into. Um, Duralodon, that's the, uh, the rival Pokemon to Charanitar. Then you got Obstagoon and Morapeko. So this is the uh, Pikachu um, clone. There's usually like a Pikachu clone in just about every generation, um, I'm pretty sure. So this one is Electric and Dark type. I think that's the first time we got Electric and Dark type, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty dope. Known moves is Aura Wheel. Morapeko was revealed. Um, Dude, they keep getting my ass. Morpeko consistently generates electricity with the sacks in his cheeks. Um, this consumes energy, causing Morpeko to be constantly hungry. This is why Morpeko is always carrying around berry seeds, protecting them with care. They serve as a snack. Uh, when experiencing prolonged hunger, the balance of hormones with, within Morpeko's bodies change. This causes its fur to change and triggers a more aggressive and violent behavior. The energy stored in his cheeks sacks also change from electric type to dark type. So is he not, this, that's what I'm trying to figure out, is he just basic electric type when he first starts out and then he can just switch, swap into dark type when he does the mood change or whatever, however you do the form change? Or is he still electric dark type and that doesn't matter? I don't know what the form change specifically does. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, he looks like an evil Pikachu Gengar right here and then he looks like a hodgepodge Pikachu right here. So he seems like a hamster, right? I think he's a hamster because it's safe to say that. Um, let's move on. We got, um, oh, they got the unnamed squirrel Pokemon that's in the background and it's chilling right here. Yo, I wonder if that squirrel Pokemon is and is this, is Morpeko. What if Morpeko evolves into that? Maybe not, because most of the regional Pikachus don't evolve. Um, let's keep going. We got, oh, still unnamed Pokemon. Look, they, Cerebi does not miss anything, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. And then, uh, yeah, so that was pretty much all the new Pokemon, including the, uh, whatchamacallit, the new uh, Galarian form evolutions and whatnot. So I want to go to... Um, not Dynamax, Galarian. New abilities? Let's see what the new ability is. Nope, not Steam Engine. There's new moves. 
Boom, Aura Wheel effect. Changes type based on Mora Peko's form. Electric type in full belly mode and dark type in hangry mode. Okay, so okay, so that makes sense. So he is pure electric type, and then when he goes into hangry mode, he transforms into a dark type Pokemon. Um, I don't know how much of a significance that's gonna play in the competitive aspect of this Pokemon. We'll see, I guess. Um nope, nope, nope. Obstruct, there you go. Uh effect taunts the opponent. Taunts the opponent. Pokemon with the move obstruct. Details. This move was introduced as a part of a hmm. So it says taunts the opponent. So maybe when you use obstruct, you force the opponent to hit your shield. I don't know. Maybe you force them to use a physical move, so instead of them. Maybe it's a reverse taunt. So like you know how taunt will keep you from using your uh whatchamacallit, your your non-damaging moves. Maybe this taunt, maybe obstruct will keep you from using your physical moves, and then you have to switch out and try not to get taunted again. That'd be pretty busted. That'd be really busted, actually, now that I'm talking about it out loud. That sounds crazy. Um hopefully, maybe. Maybe there's a turn situation. I'm not really sure how that move plays out, but that would be dope. That would be dope if that was the case. That's what it kind of sounds like to me. This Pokemon's badass. I'm thinking about getting this Linoon on my team. I actually really like Zigzagoon anyways. I told you guys I like the, po the, the rat Pokemon, the original rats. Um, but yo, that looked badass. I'm actually pretty much gonna have that on my team. Um, definitely Weezing though. I love Weezing. That's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. My team's starting to look like Punk Rockish, a little emo-ish. <laughs> we might see a Corviknight on that bitch. We'll see. I don't know. Um, so yeah, in the Poke Jobs trailer, you actually can see a, uh, whatchamacallit, a Diglett right there. So maybe Diglett's got something going on. I don't know. Um, all right. So I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. I kind of wanted to go over some of the Pokemon moves, uh, what's going on, uh, how this can play out. Um, let's actually see. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm actually going to go on to Showdown. No! Okay, well, even though I misspelled it. So I want to go into Showdown because I want to actually uh, go into Linoon's move pool as of Sun and Moon and see what kind of dark type moves that Linoon gets. Um, it still gets stabbed from normal, so we still can see some pretty awesome things. Uh, go into Team Builder, New Team, Import, Add Pokemon, go to Linoon, Linoon. Bam. Okay, so we're gonna go into its move pool. Uh, we got Belly Drum. Yo, Belly Drum would be sick. This Pokemon's starting to look physical. Body Slam would be good. Double Edge would be good. You got a priority move with extreme speed. Uh, facade. So if he has Guts Facade, yo, Guts Facade would be nasty on that Pokemon. It seems like he'd be like a stronger, um, whatever. Uh, who gets Guts Facade? Uh, Zigzagoon, because he has Dark Type, Dark Typing as well. Yo, Guts Facade with like Sucker Punch. That would be that'd be nuts. Guts facade with with extreme speed. Holy shit, dude! Holy shit. Well, 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 not, well, sorry. Guts with extreme speed in general, not guts facade with extreme speed. But doubles in power. That would be that'd be broken. Guts facade in, in general is a good combination. Um, what else we got? Frustration with maximum happiness. I guess that's all right. We got grass knot for coverage. Um, gunk shot. I'm trying to see what dark moves we got hones claws but that is a uh stat boosting move and honestly i think i would just take over belly drum at that point um stomping tantrum for ground so he's gonna be dark type and he's also so what what is dark week two dark is week two bug right and week two um fighting so dark the dark, dark is week to bug and fighting so to deal with some of the bug types we're probably gonna need what fire ice Poison, a couple, of, a couple of those moves. Um, but I really want to see if he's got. He doesn't have any sucker punch. I swear I thought this character, this monster mon had. Um, I was about to say character. I swear, I swear this mon had sucker punch for some reason. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Who knows? His move pool is actually going to get expanded though. So, but based off of um, Sword and Shield, um, not Sword and Shield. Sorry, based off of Sun and Moon. Uh, Linoon, I am seeing Belly Drum, I'm seeing Body Slam, Extreme Speed, Extreme Speed, um, Guts Facade definitely being a thing, hopefully he carries over Facade, that would be amazing. Um, he's got uh, Play Rough, which is good for certain coverages, um, yeah, 
So this Pokemon is actually turning out to be pretty good. I mean, most normal Pokemon actually have a pretty pretty decent move, uh, move pulls, and so when they add a new typing to uh, to an already normal Pokemon to make it like a Galarian form or whatever form uh, it's supposed to be, it actually makes it a lot stronger. And uh, Dark is a very good offensive type. Uh, you can see like Alolan Muk actually turned out to be amazing in the current meta. So I'm really excited for this game. I'm really 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 excited for this game. Um, just guys, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, please leave a like and a comment if you like this video. Uh, let me know what we could do next. Uh, let me know if there's any other games you want me to review or trailers you want me to watch out for. But yeah, I'm so excited for this game. You guys have a great night. Make sure to catch me out on uh, twitch.tv slash pinkthekid. I'll be streaming some Super Smash Brothers and eventually Pokemon Sword and Shield. So uh, love you guys. Take care.